The Vulcan rocket is an American heavy payload launch vehicle under development since 2014 by United Launch Alliance ULA, funded by a public-private partnership with the U.S. government. ULA expects the first launch of the new rocket to occur in April 2021. Through the first several years of the development project, the ULA Board of Directors had made only short term quarterly funding commitments to the rocket program, and it remains unclear if long term private funding will be available to finish the project. As of October 2018, the U.S. government had committed approximately $1.2 billion to Vulcan development. History United Launch Alliance had considered several launch vehicle concepts in the decade since the company was formed in 2006. Various concepts for derivative vehicles based on the Atlas and Delta lines of launch vehicles they inherited from their predecessor companies were presented to the U.S. government for funding. None were funded beyond concept stage. In early 2014, geopolitical and U.S. political considerations involving international sanctions during the Ukrainian crisis, led to an effort by ULA to consider possibly replacing the Russian-supplied Road 180 engine used on the first stage booster of the Atlas V. Formal study contracts were issued by ULA in June 2014 to several U.S. rocket engine suppliers. ULA was also facing competition from SpaceX, then seen to affect ULA's core national security market of U.S. military launches, and by July 2014 the United States Congress was debating whether to legislate a ban on future use of the Road 180. <laughs> New first stage booster In September 2014, ULA announced that it had entered into a partnership with Blue Origin to develop the B4 liquid oxygen and liquid methane engine to replace the Road 180 on a new first stage booster. The Blue engine was already in its third year of development by Blue Origin, and ULA said it expected the new stage and engine to start flying no earlier than 2019. Two of the 2,400 kN thrust B-4 engines were to be used on a new launch vehicle booster. ULA referred to the successor concept vehicle as a Next generation launch system, and used that descriptor into early 2015. In October 2014, ULA announced a major restructuring of company processes and workforce to reduce launch costs by half. One of the reasons given for the restructuring and new cost reduction goals was new competition in the launch market from SpaceX. ULA planned to have preliminary design ideas in place for a blending of its existing Atlas V and Delta IV technologies by the end of 2014, to build a successor to the Atlas V that would allow the company to halve Atlas V launch costs. A part of the restructuring effort was described as the effort to co-develop the alternative B-4 engine with Blue Origin for the new launch vehicle. Topic. Unveiling On 13 April 2015, CEO Tori Bruno unveiled the new ULA launch vehicle as the Vulcan at the 31st Space Symposium, a new two-stage-to-orbit rocket that would be rolled out incrementally. The Vulcan name was chosen after an online poll to select the name. Vulcan Inc. stated that it held the trademark on the name and contacted ULA. ULA stated its goal was to sell a bare-bones Vulcan 
For half the price of a basic Atlas V rocket, which sold for about $164 million as of 2015. Addition of strap on boosters for heavier satellites would increase the price. At the announcement in 2015, the ULA board had not yet approved the new launch vehicle, with first launch initially planned for 2019, a date that would subsequently slip to 2020, and then to 2021. ULA announced an incremental approach to rolling out the vehicle and its technologies, with Vulcan deployment beginning with the first stage, based on the Delta IV's fuselage diameter and production process, expected to use two B-4 engines. The Aerojet Rocketdyne AR-1 engine was retained by ULA as a contingency option. In late September 2018, ULA announced that the B-4 engine had been selected to power the first stage, over the alternative AR-1 engine. The first stage will be able to optionally use from 1 to 6 solid rocket boosters SRBs for added liftoff thrust, launch a heavier payload than the highest rated Atlas V in the 6 SRB configuration. At the 2015 unveiling, the second stage was planned to initially be the same Centaur upper stage as used on the Atlas V, with its existing RL-10 engines. The version announced was to be the common Centaur, or Centaur 3, as used on the Atlas VA later advanced cryogenic upper stage, the advanced cryogenic evolved stage ACES, conceptually planned for full development by ULA in the late 2010s, was planned to be introduced a few years after Vulcan reached operational flight. Those plans were not realized. In late 2017, the initial second stage was changed to the larger and heavier Centaur V, and the overall launch vehicle was renamed the Vulcan Centaur. The planned ACES upper stage was announced to be liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen powered by one to four rocket engines yet to be selected, and would include the integrated vehicle fluids technology that could allow much longer on orbit life of the upper stage. Upper stage, measured in weeks rather than hours, ULA announced in 2015 a feature they could subsequently develop which would make the first stage partly reusable, allowing the engines to detach from the vehicle after main engine cutoff, descend through the atmosphere with a heat shield and parachute, being captured by a helicopter in midair. ULA estimated that reusing the engines in this way would reduce the cost of the first stage propulsion by 90%, where propulsion is 65% of the total first stage cost. In May 2015, ULA released a chart showing a potential future Vulcan Heavy 3 core launch vehicle concept with 23,000 kg £50, payload capacity to geostationary transfer or orbit, while a single-core Vulcan 561 with the ACES upper stage would have 15,100 kg capacity to the same orbit. In September 2015, ULA and Blue Origin announced an agreement to expand production capabilities to include the B-4 rocket engine then in development and test. However, ULA also reconfirmed that the decision on the B-4 versus the AJRAR-1 would not be made until late 2016, with maiden flight of Vulcan no earlier than 2019. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Engine testing and design optimization. In January 2016, full engine testing of the B-4 was planned to begin later that year, while ULA was designing two versions of the Vulcan first stage, one using the B-4 with a 5.4 meters 18 feet outer diameter to support the less dense methane fuel and an AR-1 design with the same 3.81 meters 12.5 feet diameter as Atlas V for the denser RP-1 
one kerosene fuel. ULA completed the preliminary design review (PDR) in March 2016 for one of the two parallel designs, the Vulcan Centaur launch vehicle with dual Blue Origin B4 engines. The PDR confirms that the design meets the requirements for the diverse set of missions it will support." Before engine testing began in 2017, in April 2016, ULA CEO Tori Bruno stated that the company was targeting a complete launch services price of $99 million for base Vulcan with no solid rocket boosters. Also the ULA team was to be reduced by about one quarter of its legacy workforce, or more than 800 employees, by end 2017 in order to better compete with SpaceX and Blue Origin offerings in the U.S. launch market. In October 2017, ULA announced that Bigelow Aerospace's B-330 would be flown on a Vulcan 562 configuration rocket rather than the previously planned Atlas V in January 2018. The first launch was delayed from 2019 to mid-2020. Also announced was an upgrade to the Centaur second stage to include up to four RL-10 engines, to be called Centaur V while a tri-core Vulcan Heavy with a payload of 23,000 kg 50,000 had been conceptualized in 2015, ULA clarified that it would not build a multi-core configuration as the upgrades to the Centaur second stage would allow a single-core Vulcan Centaur to lift. 30% more than a Delta IV Heavy. By March 2018, ULA had begun to publicly refer to the new Vulcan first stage with the Centaur V second stage as the Vulcan Centaur. In May 2018, ULA selected Aerojet Rocketdyne's RL 10 engine for the Vulcan Centaur upper stage. In late September 2018, ULA announced that the Blue Origin B 4 engine is to power the first stage of the Vulcan. In October, ULA received a launch service agreement from Air Force with additional requirements. The Vulcan's maiden launch was then delayed to April 2021. Topic funding Vulcan is being funded by a combination of government and private funds. The initial private funding for Vulcan development, during the first 18 months after announcement in October 2014, was approved only for the short term. By April 2015, it became public that the United Launch Alliance Board of Directors, composed entirely of executives from Boeing and Lockheed Martin, was approving development funding on only a quarter-by-quarter -quarter basis. Funding remained limited to quarterly approvals in June 2015, and Lockheed Martin was actively working to use the funding limitation to get the U.S. Congress to change existing law and allow extension of ULA ability to acquire Road 180 engines for the Atlas V. In March 2016, executives from ULA indicated that the practice of quarter by quarter investment for Vulcan development would continue. By March 2016, the U.S. Air Force had committed up to $202 million of funding for Vulcan development. ULA has not put a firm price tag on the total cost of Vulcan development but ULA CEO Tori Bruno has said new rockets typically cost $2 billion, including $1 billion for the main engine, ULA Board of Directors member, and Boeing Executive, President of Boeing's Network and Space Systems N &SS Division, Craig Kooning said in April 2016 that he is confident that the U.S. Air Force will invest in further funding of Vulcan development costs. In September 2017, the bill for the proposed National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2018 carried language in the House version inserted by Congressman Mike Rogers. 
This language would limit the U.S. DOD, and hence the U.S. Air Force, from allocating funding to ULA for the Vulcan rocket for the fiscal year 2018. In March 2018, ULA CEO Tori Bruno said Vulcan Centaur had been 75% privately funded up to that time. In 2016, the U.S. Congress had authorized the USAF to sign deals with the space industry to co-finance the development of new rocket propulsion systems. The program known as the Launch Service Agreement LSA fits the Air Force's broader goal to get out of the business of buying rockets and instead acquire end-to-end -end services from companies. The Air Force signed cost-sharing partnerships with Launch Vehicle Company ULA, Launch Vehicle and Rocket Engine Manufacturers SpaceX and Orbital ATK, and with Rocket Engine Supplier Aerojet Rocketdyne. The original request for proposals noted the Air Force wants to leverage commercial launch solutions in order to have at least two domestic, commercial launch service providers. In October 2018, ULA was awarded $967 million to develop a prototype Vulcan launch system. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Design approach and description. ULA took an incremental approach to the development of their first launch vehicle design utilizing various technologies previously developed by its two parent companies, choosing significant Boeing Delta IV technology as well as Lockheed Martin Atlas technology. In addition, ULA began an engine selection competition in 2015 between engine suppliers Aerojet Rocketdyne and Blue Origin for both the booster and upper stages. It continued the tradition of his parent companies to accept a large amount of development funding from the U.S. government, while adding elements of private capital to fund a portion of development cost. The engine competition continued into 2018. The first stage propellant tanks are derived from those of the Delta IV, using two of the 2,400 kN thrust B-4 engines. At announcement in 2014, the B-4 engine was already in its third year of development by Blue Origin, and ULA expected the new stage and engine to start flying no earlier than 2019. Vulcan initially planned to use an upgraded variant of the Centaur upper stage used on Atlas V, with a plan to later upgrade to Aces. The design also uses a variable number of optional solid rocket boosters, called the Graphite Epoxy Motor GEM 63XL, derived from the new solid boosters planned for Atlas V with a 4-meter diameter payload fairing it can use up to 4 SRBs, and with a 5-meter fairing it can use up to 6 SRBs. The first stage can optionally have from 0 to 6 solid rocket boosters SRBs. .In August 2016 ULA's president and CEO said they intend to human rate both the Vulcan and Aces. From 2015 to 2018, ULA designed two versions of the Vulcan first stage, one using the B-4 with a 5.4 meters 18 feet outer diameter to support the less dense methane fuel and an alternative AR-1 design with the same 3.81 meters 12.5 feet diameter as Atlas V for the denser RP-1 kerosene fuel. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Engine choice. A competition among engine vendors, Blue Origin and Aerojet Rocketdyne has been underway since approximately 2014, with final engine selection originally slated for 2017 but subsequently moved to 2018. 
In April 2017, just as a major series of ground tests of the Blue Origin B-4 were set to occur over the summer, Ula indicated that Blue Origin continued to lead, but the final selection would not be made until after the test series is complete, particularly a variety of tests aimed at characterizing any combustion instability in the design. Blue Origin experienced a test anomaly on 13 May 2017 reporting that they lost a set of B4 Powerpack hardware. The B4 was first test fired, at 50% thrust for 3 seconds, in October 2017. In February 2018, Aerojet Rocketdyne asked for additional funds from USAF to complete work on the R1 engine. In late September 2018, ULA selected the B4 to power the Vulcan first stage. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Payload figures. As of 19 October 2018, the stated payload figures for the Vulcan Centaur were revised to See also Saturn C2 Saturn IB Comparison of orbital launchers families Comparison of orbital launch systems